Okay, now for question number two from M1, January 2020, International A-Level. A question here about statics. We have here a non-uniform beam. Now, what does it mean by non-uniform? Well, non-uniform means that the center of mass is not at its geometric center. If it was a uniform beam, then exactly three meters along from A, halfway along the whole beam, the weight of this, um, this beam would act. But it's non-uniform, so it does not necessarily act through its center of geometric center. Okay, our weight, W newtons. The beam is supported in equilibrium in a horizontal position by two vertical ropes. So it's in equilibrium in horizontal position by these two ropes, A and C. One attached at A and the other attached at C, where CB is equal to 1.5 meters, as shown in figure one. <coughs> the center of the mass of the beam is 2.2625 meters from A. So 2.2625 2 meters in from A is where that the weight of this will act. Okay. Um, it tells us the ropes are modeled as, modeled as light strings, so we don't care about their weight. Their, we ignore their weight. The beam is modeled as a non-uniform rod. Okay, as we know already. Given that the tension in the rope is attached, uh, sorry, given that the tension in the rope attached at C is 20 newtons greater than the tension of the rope attached at A. Okay, so at A, if this is the tension T, then C, the tension is going to be T plus 20. Okay, then it says, uh, find the value of W and state how you use the fact that the beam is modeled as a rod. Okay, so let's just replicate this diagram down here. There we have it. Now, um, we need to find the value of W. So here we have something which is in equilibrium. So we can say that the upward forces and the downward forces, they cancel out or they are equal to each other. So we can say that the upward forces is T plus T plus 20. And that gives us W. That's the only downward force. So we can say 2T plus 20 is equal to W. Okay, that's one equation. Okay, um, we can make another equation from the fact that's an equilibrium. So that means the clockwise and anticlockwise moments um, cancel out. Now I can take moments from anywhere I want to. Okay, it doesn't really make much of a difference, but I would like to take moments from where I know that um, uh, I have an equation with W in it. Not necessarily, actually, because if you find an equation with just T in it, you could, I guess, find the value of T uh, straight away. And um, that would work. But let's just find, let's take moments about A. I think the, the, the lens will be easy to deal with there. Take moments about A, then you're going to have another equation with W and T in it, and then we can solve simultaneously, it seems. So if you take moments about A, you can say that the clockwise moments, which is 2.2625 times W, must be the same as anticlockwise moments, which is um, this length here <coughs> from A. From A, that length must be equal to 4.5 meters. <coughs> there we have 4.5 meters. Okay, so we can say 4.5 times T plus 20. Okay, now I don't really like all these decimals. I know that if I multiply this by 8, um, 0.2625 will be cancelled out because I think that's something over 8. Yeah, so let's just see what happens when we do that. <clears throat> so we have 2.2625, 2.2625, oh, sorry, 2.625, 2.625 times 8, that's 21, so that's 21W is equal to 4.5 times 8, that's 4 times 8 is 32, and 4 times 0.5 is 4, so... Uh, 32 plus times 8, sorry, 4 times 8 is 32, and 8 times 0.5 is 4, that's 36, so that's 36 times t plus 20. <coughs> so you get 21w is equal to 36t plus 3, 36 times 2, 720. Let's just simplify this, I think you divide by 3. 3 goes into these, all of them. 7w is equal to 12t plus 3 to 6 goes 1, remainder 1, 100 and, uh, that's 100 and, no, no, 1, that's 2, isn't it, sorry, that's 240, isn't it 240, that's right, so we could say, 
here that we know that 2t is equal to w minus 20 and here I need 12t so 12t is equal to um, multiply by 6 6w six minus 120 so I can replace this by 6w minus 120 I'm just using substitution actually to solve this because I can see here I've got 12t and here I know what 2t is so I can make that into 12t and substitute that so I've got 7w is equal to 6w minus 120 plus 240 because 12t is 6w minus 120 take the w's together that's w is equal to 240 minus 120 is 120 so w is equal to 120 newtons so there's the answer to part a and for part b it's just a little explanation here it says state how you've used how you have used the fact that the beam is modeled as a rod well a rod is something that remains rigid so it does not bend nor buckle so we can just mention it does not bend nor buckle <clears throat> that's fine it remains straight it does not bend or buckle okay these this this is what it means by the fact it's rigid and there we have the answer to question number two